Welcome back to another Space Club mission. First, I would like to congratulate you and your team on a job well done in building those pneumatic devices to lift our rock samples. Remember, we're looking for signs of ancient microbial life. What do you think we're gonna find? Unfortunately, we're a long way from our base and the rock samples are heavy. How do we get them back to base for testing? For today's mission, we need to design and build a rover to transport the rock samples back to base. We will need to use our mechanical engineering skills. Mechanical engineering is the broadest kind of engineer. They know how to design and test tools, engines, machines, and other mechanical devices. Mechanical engineers design roller coasters, robots, electric cars, and more. To power our rover, we are using energy stored in rubber bands. What happens if you stretch a rubber band and then let it go? It snaps back into its original shape. The more you stretch the rubber band, the more energy it stores. This stored energy is called elastic potential energy. When you let it go, it turns into kinetic energy or the energy of motion. We wanna capture this kinetic energy and use it to make our rover move. To do that, connect your rubber band to the axle of your rover. This axle is then connected to a wheel. As the rubber band turns the axle, it moves the wheel and causes your rover to travel forward. Now, before you go design your rover, I wanna give you a warning. This is a difficult challenge and it will require critical thinking, creativity, and problem solving. These are skills you've been building during our previous missions. I know you can do this, so don't give up. Remember, failure is part of the engineering process. If your rover doesn't work, think what you can do to change it and improve your design. You've got this. Best of luck team, Mission Control, signing off.